of Islam. So it is high time that the Muslim community that is trying to come to its senses takes charge once again, puts the, the, the smartest of our intellectuals, the smartest of our scholars, the most level-headed of our people, put, put the onus on them on teaching this Islam the way it's supposed to be taught. And not just teaching it the way it's supposed to be taught, meaning write a PhD paper, or write another book, or give another four-hour lecture. No, because that's not, never going to reach a 16-year-old. My old 16-year-old self, my 18-year-old self, would never be interested in a fatwa. What does that mean? Fat what? <laughs> you know? I wouldn't be interested in it. What, what would I be interested in? I'd be interested in a movie. I'd rather go see a movie. I'd rather go see, like, I don't know, uh, I'll play a video game. I would. You know what I want to see? And inshallah ta'ala, make dua that it's not just something that I have in my head that pretty soon this, this sort of thing starts getting materialized. I had a picture in my head about, you know, there, there's this a lot of talk, for example, about young people turning to extremism, right? And being drawn to like, you know, uh, 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 militant rhetoric within Islamic discourse, right? So there's a, lot of, there's a lot of discussion, especially in this part of the country, there's a lot of conversation about that, right? So I was discussing something with a bunch of film producers not too long ago. What if there's a movie of a bunch of kids, young guys, who get arrested and they all get thrown in like a Guantanamo Bay or something and some of these guys are actually arrested because they were trying to blow something up but some of these guys got arrested because they got falsely accused they don't have any aspirations as such they're good Muslim kids but they got arrested and now all these kids the super jihadi militant kid and the kids that are level-headed and maybe even a scholar they're all in the, sitting in a jail cell together do they see Islam the same way? They don't, but they have to spend a year or more in that jail cell together. So guess what? They're going to start talking about what Islam means to them. And it's going to get, it's going to get heated. I want to see a TV show like that. All 12 episodes. Let it, let it all hang out. <laughs> let it all go. Let the kid bring all his dalil. Let them fight. And guess what? If you took those arguments, here are the arguments of those who say, you know, killing is this, 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 and these are the fatawa, and these are the ulama, and these are this, and you put like this thick of a paper together. Anybody going to read that? I'm interested in reading it. I can't survive past the second page. But if you make a movie out of it, make a TV show out of it, make a compelling film out of it, guess what? Yo, did you see that? That was crazy, yo. Why? Because the world will consume what? Film. By the way, this is not some liberal, modern, progressive concept. Presenting Islamic ideas through creative media. As a matter of fact, that in its core is a Quranic concept. وَالْعَادِيَاتِ ضَبْحَ فَالْمُورِيَاتِ قَضْحَ فَالْمُغِيرَاتِ صُبْحَ فَأَثَرْنَ بِهِ نَقْعَ فَوَسَطْنَ بِهِ جَمْعَ Those ayat of Surah Al-Adiyat have nothing to do with the Akhirah. They have nothing to do with the Day of Judgment. They have nothing to do with the Sahaba. They have nothing to do with Jihad fi sabi lillah. That hasn't even happened yet. It's a Makki Surah. They just have to do with epic horses that are going into battle. An action film. And by the way, if the Arabs loved something, it was an action film. And if it had horses, what? <laughs> Fast and furious. <laughs> it got their attention. The Quran got their attention. Because Allah knows there are some things that captivate the mind. That's looking to be, you know, to be entertained. And those, those ayat, if you study the imagery in them, it's remarkably entertaining. If some young creative people put that into film, people will watch. They'll make an epic trailer. You know how they have epic trailers? Horses riding, swords, there's an enemy standing there, spears ready, and as soon as the clash is about to happen, this ain't bro. <laughs> oh, I have to see this. That's literally what the Quran did. We need to not just learn what the Quran says. We need to learn how it says it. Allah has a divine way of teaching things. You have to internalize that and translate that into how education is going to happen for the ummah. How it's going to take place. We have to develop this nuance. And by the way, that responsibility squarely falls on the shoulders of Muslims